discuss financial market. Now, what is a market? Market is a place where seller and buyer exchange their goods and services for some certain amount of money. Let's suppose if I want to buy something from a market, I'll go, uh, I'll take up uh, my money and uh, you know, give that money to the to the shopkeeper and the shopkeeper in return will give me the product that I wanted, right? So that's basically a market. So what is financial market? Financial market is on a similar lines. Financial market is allow people to indulge themselves in buying and selling of financial securities so there are different types of financial market we'll discuss them first is capital market in this capital market what we do is capital market is a market where there are instruments through which i am raising money and the maturity period of those instruments are more than one year right so capital market is used for raising huge finance for a party for more than one year right let's suppose if i am starting my company i need heavy machinery i'm starting my company i need heavy machinery so i've taken a loan loan uh, not for less than one year i've taken a loan for three years five years ten years now uh, that will come under capital market because i need to finance my business i need to finance those machines that will come under the category of capital market and the, and the maturity period because i know that let's suppose if I'm starting my business, it will take me some time to actually, uh, you know, earn some profit and then I'll be in, in a position to repay the whole amount of money or the some portion of it. Now, money market. So if I have to talk about money market, let's suppose, you know, every business requires working capital, right? So let's suppose uh, my payment from uh, one of the uh, buyers, let's suppose I am selling some product and one of the buyer is saying uh, one of the buyer who has bought my product is saying that i will pay you the money after a month cap for that particular one month i need money to run my finances to run my company for that is working capital right i need to pay the salaries of the workers now what will i do i need money for that particular one month and after one month my buyer who has actually bought the things will pay me the amount right so what will happen in uh, that time i will raise the finance right i need that finance so there are uh, various methods through uh, in which money market instruments one of the instrument is t bills and treasury bills second is certificates of deposit cds commercial paper commercial bills so these are few instrument of money market we'll discuss all of them uh, you know in good extent while we'll co cover them specifically in other videos so this is about money market and a specific difference between capital market and money market is the difference the major difference is when you are raising funds through money market instruments the maturity maturity period of those instruments will be less than one year right so that is the difference between capital market and money market there are derivative markets you know you do stock exchange so that will come under derivative market now insurance is also being marketed as well insurance buyers second buyers reinsurance so uh, you know insurance is also being marketed lastly is future market i hope everyone knows what is future market and uh, what is spot market uh, while we are talking about spot market we are you know uh, making exchange at this uh, at a particular time and a particular date let's suppose if i am coming to in an agreement with some person and uh, let's suppose x person right so this uh the price of the stock is currently at 100 rupees now i'll get into the agreement and we have done the agreement at 100 rupees on a particular date on let's suppose the day we meet uh we have done our agreement but we when we talk about future market let's suppose mr x and me comes into an agreement that you know the stock price of this share is 100 rupees now this is 100 after a month i'll buy the shares from you at this price but after a month i'll pay you after a month after a month now that uh, share price could be more could be 110 or could be 95 but the deal will be conducted at 100 rupees that is future market the price is determined today the date will be determined today but the contract will be conducted at some future date so this is called future market lastly foreign exchange market right so what comes under foreign exchange market uh, now you must be knowing that there are currency exchange you can buy into foreign stocks so all these offerings all these options are opened after you know 1991 reform so financial market consists of all of these and we'll discuss all of them 
in upcoming videos as well now we talk about financial instrument so what are the instruments through which i can raise some certain money if i want to raise some money i need to know what are the instruments so what are financial instrument these are tradable asset which can be in terms of cash agreement evidence of an ownership in in an entity now we're talking about tradable asset which can be in terms of cash right so those are uh, let's suppose if i want to exchange something and i have the cash with me so i can easily exchange because the liquidity value is high and uh, certainly there is agreement and there is evidence of an ownership in an entity that basically is stock market now what are the instrument first is deposit so what does deposit means so deposit deposit means it means to save or to keep safely something which can be expressed in monetary value right everyone has a you know saving account so you deposit some amount of money or you can actually uh, you know take locker services from bank where you can keep your ornaments as well so you're depositing your golds over there now that that will comes under deposit right you'll earn some uh, interest or money over it now we're talking about stock so stock represent the ownership of a company let's suppose a company uh, has been trading their shares for a while now whenever you buy a share you buy the ownership of the company as well it is a form of corporate equity ownership wherein the total stock of the company is divided into shares where the total stock of the company is divided into shares and if i am an owner of a share i am uh, you know a percentage of an owner of in that company as well so that comes under stocks lastly is debts so in this you know it creates an obligation on borrower of the fund to repay the amount of uh, to repay the amount borrowed so let's suppose you know uh, what comes under the example of debts comes bonds debentures so let's suppose if i am you know floating out debentures so i have to make sure that i actually repay the amount if i am uh, you know i repay the amount with the interest that is associated with it so that is called debt so let's suppose if i am floating the debenture and someone buys those debentures so i will get the money and i have to make sure that i you know repay that amount in future so that will come under debts so this is all about financial instrument i hope everyone is following till now and if you are liking the content that we are making and providing so please do leave a like and do subscribe to the channel as well uh, to the channel as well and the last thing is uh, in this uh, you know components is financial services so these are the services which are provided by financial institution i hope everyone uh, knows what are financial institution they are be, uh, basically can be classified into two banking and non banking financial institution so what are the services that are being provided first service is banking services as you already know that you know there has been a drastic change uh, you know of the way uh, we make payments uh, in today's time or let's suppose a decade ago even now whenever you go to a market you you, you don't have to carry a lot of, a lot of cash with you because you can use your wallets you know e wallets and second thing you can use your atm cards as well you know basically on a tap of money you can have a transaction you can basically uh, send the amount to that particular store owner shopkeeper or any other person whom you are indulging into a transaction with that will come under the banking services because there are other services as well check services uh, atm card services and you know e wallet services so banking services has been evolving with time now we'll talk about foreign exchange services now because of foreign exchange services as i said uh, earlier you cannot buy things uh, those were uh, you know in in foreign currencies now you can easily buy you can there are multiple currency exchange shops uh, and you can um, you know basically yeah, and you can have international credit cards debit card as well so you can make foreign transactions right foreign currency transaction lastly is investment services now you must be knowing that whenever if you open any uh, commercial bank app let's suppose if i am talking about icici so if i have their uh, if i have a bank account with them so I, I will download their app as well on their app there are investment services right let's suppose you know they'll talk about fd fixed deposit that you can uh, certainly deposit some amount of money from your bank account and we will repay you after this amount there is there will be some maturity period after that maturity period so that is one of the investment service there are, uh, they will provide you mutual fund services as well they will say that you know you can invest in mutual funds as well so all of them comes under investment services 
and now insurance services as well you know you have to do your life insurance and medical insurance if you have until now you should focus on that and there are uh, you know vehicle insurance as well all of that can be done through a click on phone so there are insurance services that are also being provided these days as well so these are all the financial services which are provided by financial institution do for do pay attention to this as well with who will provide the financial services financial institutions right now we'll talk about uh, the interaction among financial system components as i said uh, uh, let me ask you a question do you think that you know all of these components operates in isolation or uh, you know interact among with them i think every man uh, who is watching the video right now will say no they don't operate in isolation they all coordinate because the financial institutions provide financial services so from that there's a clue there's a hint that you know these all interact but now let's suppose we are talking about the our comp our country's economic growth if our country's economic growth wants to prosper we need to make sure the interaction among financial system components are is being done smoothly right so that is a prerequisite the you know the interaction among all the system components should be done smoothly and it is very important for uh, to have a to have a good financial system all of the components interact smoothly now the last thing what are the functions of financial system so firstly is facilitating payments now i can make payments any time anywhere uh, with the services uh, that have been providing by the financial services you know i can make a payment without carrying my wallet through e wallets or uh, atm cards now the transfer of resources second point is transfer of resources i am the one who was the saver in an economy now that amount of money is being given to someone else who is in more need of that money they can invest uh, into the economy and whole economy will grow in sense third point is risk management i am the one who is risk averse risk averse are those people who don't want to injure, indulge into much risk and they want steady returns so i actually deposit my money into bank account and into savings account now what happens basically that bank will actually lend that money to someone who wants to uh, you know build something new now uh, when you are uh, trying something new when you are uh, you know building up something new uh, there is risk associated with it now that risk has been transferred to that particular person now that particular person has to make sure that uh, whenever he or she is starting something new they have to repay that amount the loan amount and with interest as well so risk has been transferred because i am the one who avoids risk and there is someone who actually need that money to uh, you know build something new so if i have to take an example of this i'll actually tell you that you know there must be a, there is a friend in your everyone's group that actually ask you for some money and then he or she says that you know after a while i will give you toys of the money that you have lended me now what they actually do they invest that money into uh, highly risky ventures and they get you know benefited at times or sometimes they fail at it so that is called risk management i hope everyone is clear uh, uh, right now and lastly is pooling of resources so now multiple stakeholders let's suppose i if i am one of the bank holders so i am coming and my amount has been deposited into the bank account so there are multiple people uh, according to this data that was in 2015 there are 360 million bank account holders so 360 million bank account holders must be holding some amount and that amount is being lent by the bank to to those people who actually uh, you know want to use that money to finance uh, that finance to grow or to run their businesses or to expand their businesses that helps into the economic growth of the country so these are all the functions of financial system and uh, that will be all for today's class and in the next class we'll discuss the banking institution the history and the important question that might come come up in your examination and uh, for all those who are preparing uh, preparing for uh, this examination you just see net jrf and uh, i want to just tell you few important things before we wind up for today that you know while studying you sure you make notes you revise through youtube videos and uh, you don't have to go through multiple channels if you are following one channel you know go through it if you are liking the content that they are providing if you are liking the teaching technique you should be sticking by that and uh, so and the other thing you should be uh, giving more and more mock tests for that i have 
already told you that download the talent blazer app there are multiple mock tests that are available for free of cost so you can use them and uh, that will definitely help in your preparation journey so i think that would be all for today's class and in the next class we'll discuss about the banking system so do join me in the next class and if you are liking the content that we are providing so please do leave a like and if you haven't subscribed to the channel already do leave a sub to the channel as well and hit the bell icon so whenever if, uh, whenever i come with the next video on this unit you get aware about it and uh, start preparing if you haven't already and uh, all the best and we'll meet in the next class